Hi there, today we're going to make a USB charger um, from a battery. So here I've got a 9 volt battery, uh, some wires that I'm going to use to connect it all up, got a little bit of shrink wrap. Uh, this thing, which uh, is called a TS7805, it's a, a voltage regulator and what it'll do is it'll step down from the 9 volt uh, to what the USB needs. Uh, you can see my USB here. Um, it looks like a normal USB, but there's something a bit funny around it. That thing that you're looking at, that, that piece of metal, is actually part of the container that I'm going to put it in. So I'm going to build this all into this uh, after coffee chewing gum. I think it's from, it is from Starbucks, this thing. Uh, anyways, it's a nice little tin that I found uh, that'll fit all this stuff. So um, basically what I need to do is um, uh, wire it up so that uh, the 9 volt battery uh, goes into one of these pins here. Uh, comes out uh, to this as 5 volt, and uh, that should do it. So I'm just going to go over to the computer here where I've got um, a tech sheet up about about this uh, 7805 is the one I'm using, and you can see here uh, a description of it. Pin 1 is the input, pin 2 is the ground, and pin 3 is the output. Uh, so what I've done here is I've uh, started laying, laying it out. Now you might have noticed that I have two of them. Uh, there's one here that I was just using as a demo, and there's number two over here. That's because I bought two at the time. I've got a Raspberry Pi project I'm going to use one of them for soon. But just to show you how it works, I'm just going to hook up my 9-volt uh, connector here. Let me set my uh, voltage. So you can see the output that we're getting here. So if you follow it onto the board, uh, red is for live, which goes to the white. White is in pin 1. You can see pin 2 is returning uh, as a ground, and pin 3 is the output. Uh, so pin 3 is on the left here, which I'll use for red. And, uh, and then on the far right is um, the output. So as you can see there, uh, just got, I uh, hope you can see that on the screen, 5. 0.04 volts, so just about 5 volts, which is uh, exactly what uh, the USB will need, uh, or the Raspberry Pi, uh, for that matter, for the next project. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, now that I know it's all working, I'm going to uh, take these pieces and uh, solder them up, and uh, yeah, you should see it again in a few minutes. Okay, so here I am with it all wired up. As you remember, uh, this is the... Uh, 9 volt input. Uh, you can see uh, the red goes to 1. Uh, ground returns. Uh, output uh, goes to the, uh, uh, on this one, it's the right side of the USB, and uh, the ground return also returns uh, back to this uh, ground or return line. So I've got that all wired up. So what I'm going to do here is uh, just uh, test it out. Great, and I've got, uh, what I've got here is a, I can't remember quite what that is, it's like a USB uh, vacuum. So uh, let's, uh, let's just put that there uh, as best we can. Uh, and now I'm going to plug it in. And we'll see if we can get it to work here. There we go, the little light's on, which tells us that the 5 volt is passing through the, uh, the connection. So we have it. So all that's left now is, um, just take this apart. Uh, all that's left now is to uh, reassemble it back inside this tin and uh, go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I've uh, put the tin back together, uh, and there's my wires coming out the top. I'm just going to adjust this up a little bit. Uh, so now I can um, put my battery back in. Let's get this all. There you go. And these will help me pull that back out later. And there you have it. Portable USB 
charging station. Uh, good to go. And it's uh, it's just about perfect size for my pocket. Uh, a couple things I learned on this project. One, uh, using one of these is a bit clunky. I should have just... Um, I, f I should have found an extension cable or something and, and uh, just run a cable out. I, I don't know why I was so obsessed with putting it in a box, but now that I have, it's kind of cool. Um, uh, yeah, cool. Next time, uh, we'll do a bigger one. Much bigger, in fact. And uh, we'll power Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my videos. Uh, check out my other projects. And uh, give it a like if you can. Thanks.